Each week as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open to you. Frontierland. Tall tales and true from the legendary past. Tomorrowland. Promise of things to come. Adventureland. The wonder world of nature's own realm. Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. Presenting this week... Many years ago, a prophetic writer and engineer told of the genius of one man who discovered the very power of the universe and harnessed it to propel his ship 20,000 leagues under the sea. But the hero of that story was afraid to let this power fall into the hands of an immature mankind. And so he chose rather to destroy his own work. good time, nature's own energies will come to humankind for a better and a richer life. Fiction often has a way of becoming fact. Not long ago, we brought you the immortal tale, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, featuring the famous submarine Nautilus. According to the story, this craft was powered by a magic force. Today, that tale has come true. This is a model of the real Nautilus, the world's first atom-powered ship. It's the first example of the useful power of the atom that will drive the machines of our atomic age. The atom is our future. It is a subject everyone wants to understand. So we felt it was the most important topic for a Tomorrowland program. In fact, we considered it so important that we embarked on several atomic projects. For one, we made plans to build an exhibit at Disneyland that will show you atomic energy in action. Now, our atomic projects here at the studio are twofold. We prepared this program and also a book so that we could tell you this important story in full detail. Both grew together. We gave them the same title, and many of the illustrations appear in both. As you can see, we found ourselves deep in the field of nuclear physics. Of course, we don't pretend to be science. We're storytellers. So we combine the tools of our trade with the knowledge of experts. We added a nationally known scientist to our staff to head our new science department. His first assignment was to write the book on the atom, and to help us in developing this program. And here to tell you the story of our friend, The Atom, is the author of our book, Dr. Heinz Haber. As we developed our story of the atom, we made an amazing discovery. We had a science story, but suddenly we realized that it was almost like a fairy tale. By a strange coincidence, our story turned out to be like the old fable from the Arabian Nights, the fisherman and the genie. This tale tells of an age-old wish of man, a wish to be the master of a mighty genie that does his bidding. There was once an old fisherman who lived in great poverty. One day, after casting his net many times, he happened to pull ashore a brazen vessel. Its mouth was closed with a lead stopper. Marveling at his strange catch, the fisherman said, I'll wager that whatever is sealed so well must contain something of great value. Lo, that 
presently thou wilt have to die. Heaven forbid, or at least tell me why. As I lay imprisoned in that tiny jar for many centuries, my anger grew and grew until I swore in my heart that my liberator should perish. What a cruel trick fate hath dealt me. Trick? Hmm. O oh, genie, since thou art determined upon my death, grant me this one last question. Well? How can one as mighty and powerful as thou dwell in so tiny a vessel? What? Thou dost not believe me? Not till I have seen it done can I believe it. <laughs> Watch then. Now you shall return to the sea. Nay, nay, I did not mean what I said. Ah, no, no, release me. And I give my solemn vow to grant thee three wishes. Strangely enough, our story is like that fable, come true through science. We are like the fishermen. For centuries, we have been casting our net into the sea of the great unknown in search of knowledge. And finally, we found a vessel. And like the one in the fable, it contains a genie. A genie hidden in the atoms of this metal, uranium. Let me show you. This is a Geiger counter. It tells us that the genie is here, imprisoned in these atoms. So this is our story. How the vessel was discovered, how the genie was liberated, how he first threatened to kill, and how he was finally harnessed to grant us three wishes. Our story begins in ancient Greece in 400 BC. At that time, man firmly believed that all things were composed of four basic elements, earth, air, water, and fire. But Democritus, a philosopher of that era, thought that these elements could be divided into smaller particles. In fact, he even gave them their name, atomos which means indivisible. I crumble this earth to soil, and in turn crumble this soil to dust. Now if I could reduce this dust into its smallest particles, these would be atoms. This beach appears to be a solid carpet, but on closer inspection, we see that it is made of millions of grains of sand. If we think of grains of sand as atoms and pack them together, they can be molded into any desired form. So it is in this way nature uses these tiny particles, these atoms, to build all things, the earth, water, air, and fire. If air and fire consist of small particles, how can they rise? They would fall to the earth like a shower of pebbles. The man who disagreed with Democritus was Aristotle, a famous Greek philosopher. His philosophy shaped the thinking of man for the next 2,000 years. And so the idea of the atom was lost. <laughs> 